We're going to come onto our backs and start in Supta Baddha Konasana. So come all the way down, soles of your feet together, knees open wide. Take some time to get comfortable here. If you want to rock a little side to side, maybe turn your head right and left. Hands can come to your belly. You could take cactus arms. You could bring your left hand to your heart, right hand to your belly. Close your eyes if they're not already closed. And really let your entire back body drop in. Filling up your front body as you breathe in, your belly and your heart. And then softening down into the earth as you exhale. Take a few big conscious breaths in and out. Really setting a starting point, a space of arrival. Continue with that conscious breathing, maybe with a little more softness. We come to our mats time and time again to practice the same shapes over and over again. Exploring and learning and listening to the nuances of this magical experience of yoga. And every so often, all these things align and we feel that feeling of being completely present. We have that beautiful flow where our breath sinks with our movement, where our body, mind, and soul have slid into the perfect embrace and conversation, and we surrender to their intelligence. Over time and with practice, we touch more often these moments where we dip our toe into the waters of the universe. We feel it, we get it, we touch it. It may take a hundred or a thousand down dogs to get there, or a hundred or a thousand warrior twos or shavasanas or meditation sessions. But we have these aha moments where the depth of presence and mindfulness and yoga makes sense. It's important we bookmark and remember these, how they feel, so that when these sensations recur, we recognize them and lean into them and perhaps get to linger in them a little longer each time until someday we find ourselves swimming in the waters of the universe. Today, I invite you to turn on your sensors for these moments and explore how these shapes you flow through over and over again have the ability to offer you something new every time. Take one more big full breath in and a big breath out. Extend your arms overhead, stretch your legs out long, take a big reach from toes to fingertips. Big breath in here, let your ribs expand, maybe your lower back arch. And on an exhale, hug your knees in towards your chest. Give them a squeeze, take some gentle rock side to side, maybe turn your head side to side. And then come back to center, hold on to your knees separately. So catch left knee with left hand, right knee with right hand. Start to open your knees away from each other and then continue that circle. Circling around a few times in one direction. And then reverse and circle the other way. Come back to center and let's move into half happy baby on the right. Flex your right foot to the ceiling, catch the outside of that right foot. Pull that right knee towards the floor. Send your left leg long on the floor. Maybe use that left hand to press that left thigh down. Breathe into your hips. Tuck your chin slightly. Make sure the back of your neck is long. Stay for a full breath in. 
and a full breath out. Release the foot, squeeze your right knee into your chest with both hands. Take a breath in here. Exhale, easy twist to the left. Use your left hand to take that leg over. Cactus your right arm or extend that arm, whatever feels best. And turn your gaze to the right. Get longer through that bottom leg. Get longer through your spine. Breathe into that length. And use your exhale to soften deeper into the torso. Take that one more time. Inhale, lengthen the bottom leg, the spine. Use that exhale to deepen the twist. Inhale, come back through center. And we'll swap out our legs, finding half happy baby on the left. Flex your left foot, catch the outer edge of that foot and pull on it to bring that left knee closer to the floor. Right leg is extended, right hand might push that right thigh down. Breathe into the hip. Tuck the chin slightly so the back of the neck is long. Take a full breath in. And full breath out. Release that foot. Bring both hands to your left leg and squeeze it into your chest. Inhale here. Exhale, take a twist. Use your right hand to guide that knee over to the right. Cactus your left arm or extend that left arm and look to the left. Can you get a little longer through your bottom leg? A little longer through your spine. Breathe into that length. Use your exhale to soften into the twist. One more breath in. And breath out. Inhale, come back to center. Hug both knees into your chest, bringing your hands behind your legs. Use your abdominals and a little bit of momentum as you start to rock yourself up to sit, maybe on the third, fourth, or fifth one. You can make your way into downward dog in any way that's comfortable. Take your time, add some movement in this first down dog. Take whatever feels good. Again, working today to explore these shapes that we've been in hundreds of times, maybe thousands of times. And trying to discover something new. Find your downward dog. Spread your fingers wide. Lift your hips. Reach your heels towards the floor and drop the weight of your head. Rolling in and out of plank, finding a cat and cow spine as we do. I want you to tuck your chin, rise high in your toes. Think cat spines. You round through your spine and shift forward. Find plank position, the head is the last to arrive. Take a big breath in. Exhale, start by softening your knees. Lift your sit bones to the ceiling, think a little cow spine, arching the lower back slightly. As you push into your hands and lift your hips into down dog, legs are the last to arrive. Rise high on your toes, tuck your chin, roll forward into plank, head is the last to arrive. Soft knees, lift your tush, arch your back. Press back into downward dog, legs are the last to land. One more time, rise to toes, tuck the chin, inhale, roll forward. Exhale, soft knees, lift your hips, push into your hands, stretch back, downward dog. This time, rise to toes, tuck your chin, inhale, roll forward to plank, look forward. Exhale, bend your elbows and lower all the way to the floor. Untuck your toes, slide your hands off to the sides of your mat, tent up onto your fingertips. Press down into your feet, tuck your tail to your heels. Tuck your chin here, push into your fingers. Inhale, rolling cobra, wave through your spine. Stretch your arms straight any amount as you lift your heart and lift your gaze. On an exhale, lengthen to lower. Beautiful, two more like that. Tuck the chin, press into the fingers. Inhale, roll through your spine to lift. Exhale, lengthen to lower. Last time, tuck the chin, inhale, roll through your spine, lift, this time stay. On an exhale, dip your right shoulder down, gaze over your left. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, dip your left shoulder down, gaze over your right. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, lower to the floor. 
hands under your shoulders, tuck your toes, engage your legs, inhale, prepare. Exhale, press up to plank, back to downward dog, and then walk your feet to your hands. Pedal out those legs, little steps traveling to the top of your mat. And once you arrive, open your feet hip width apart, soften your knees, shake out your head and your shoulders. Reach behind you, interlace your hands at the small of your back. So you can squeeze the heels of your hands together. Roll your shoulders back, draw your shoulder blades closer, and stretch your arms straight in the amount. Let your belly move closer to your thighs. Let your forehead move closer towards your shins as those arms reach up and overhead. Inhale all the way into the collarbone. Fold a little deeper as you exhale. Let's add a twist. Keep this bind in your arms. Bend your left knee and start to pull your arms over to the left. Turn your torso to the right. Work your gaze up under that right shoulder towards the ceiling. Push more into your right foot. Get longer to the back of your right leg. Take a big breath in. Keep these arms as you exhale, come back to center and fold. Same thing, other side, bend your right knee, start to pull your arms to the right. Gaze up and under that left shoulder, turning your torso to the left. Push down more into that left foot, get longer through your left leg. Take a big breath in. Keep the bind in your arms, exhale, fold, center. One more inhale. And as you exhale, release your arms. Shake it out a little bit. Stay easy in the neck, head, shoulders, soften your knees and roll up slowly. Take your time. Once you arrive, roll your shoulders back a couple times. Step your feet together at the top of your mat. Big toes touch. Hands to heart center. Soften or close your eyes. Taking a moment to come back to that tension, uh, intention of staying present and open to those sensations where you feel like you're really tapping in. Where you're touching those moments of real presence, of real unity and connectedness with all the parts of your body and then all the parts of you and everyone and everything else. Bow your forehead to your heart. Surya Namaskara A. Inhale, sweep your arms around and up, lift your heart, press your palms. Big exhale to fold forward and drop your head. Soften your left knee. Inhale, right arm to the sky, forward fold, twist. Exhale, release. Soften your right knee, inhale, left arm to the sky, forward fold, twist. Exhale, release. Inhale, half lift, fingers might come to shins. Push off those shins, reach the top of your head forward. Exhale, step or jump, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, press the floor away with your hands and feet. Exhale, downward dog for three full breaths. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Take one more breath in and out. Inhale, rise to toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees, step or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms around and up, palms press. Exhale, fold right back over your legs. Soften your left knee, inhale, right arm to the sky, forward fold, twist. Exhale, release. Soften your right knee, inhale, left arm reaches up. Exhale, release. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, step or jump, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, easy in the neck, soft shoulders. 
Exhale, down dog, three breaths. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. One more breath in and out. Inhale, rise to toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees. Step or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms around and up, palms press last time. Exhale, fold forward. Soften your left knee. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, release. Soften your right knee. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, release. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. One more breath in. And out. Inhale, rise to toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees. Step or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sit low, Utkatasana. Shift your weight into your heels. Press down and out through your heels. Squeeze your knees together. Scoop your tailbone forward. Lift through the heart, reach through the fingers. Take another breath in. Exhale, open, twist right. Start to reach both arms down and then extend right arm back, left arm forward. Keep your hips facing forward so knees and hips are square to the front of the room as you turn your torso to the right and maybe work that ease towards your back thumb. Stay for a breath in. Sit low, twist deeper as you exhale. Inhale, Utkatasana, back through center, arms reach high. Exhale, half chair, sit lower, work your fingers towards the floor. Shift your weight into your right foot. Inhale, one-legged mountain, left knee lifts, arms reach overhead. Exhale, standing figure four. Cross left ankle over right thigh. Sit low in the hips, pull your belly in. Heart reaches forward as your hips pull back. Breathe for three, two, one. Inhale, one-legged mountain, left knee lifts, arms overhead. Exhale, big step back for high lunge. With grace, with control. Draw your belly and front ribs in, lengthen your tailbone down. Inhale, reach through your fingers. Exhale, open, twist right. Let those arms come down again. And then left arm forward, right arm back as you rotate to the right. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Rotate your torso and gaze around. Get taller through the top of your head as you breathe in. Twist a little deeper as you exhale. Inhale, front lunge, right arm reaches forward. Exhale, warrior two, seal your back heel down. Turn your right palm to the ceiling. Inhale, reach back, reverse warrior. Make space across that right hip crease. Exhale, modified extended side angle. Right forearm to right thigh. Reach your left arm all the way overhead. Press that right knee open. Seal the outer edge of your back foot down and lift more underneath the inner thigh of your back leg. Bend your front knee a little deeper. Twist your torso a little more. Stay for a breath in. Stay for a breath out. Inhale, reverse triangle, legs stretch straight, reach all the way up and back. Exhale, low lunge, hands to the floor, square off. Press into your hands. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg shoots up and back. Exhale, scorpion dog, open your hip and bend your knee. Take a big breath in. Exhale, right knee, left elbow as you shift forward to plank. Inhale, back into that scorpion dock. Exhale, right knee, right elbow, and step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Step your left foot to the outside of your left hand, prayer squat. Press your knees open with your elbows. 
scoop your tailbone forward, draw your shoulders back. Left fingers find the floor inside that left leg. So that left arm is pushing that left knee open. Reach your right arm up on a high diagonal. Try and keep equal weight on both feet. Get longer through your spine as you breathe in. Open your chest as you breathe out. One more breath in. One more exhale. Come back to center, hands to heart center. Other side, right fingers down. Keep that right arm inside your right leg so you can work to press that right knee open and reach your left arm up on a high diagonal. Good. Shoulders down the back. Get longer through your spine as you breathe in. Twist deeper as you exhale. One more breath in. And out. Hands to heart center. Take a breath in here. Soft eyes. Exhale, forward fold, hands to the floor. Tip your head down, lift your hips high. Take some easy sways, side to side. Use those sways to walk your feet all the way together. Big toes touch. Inhale, half lift, reset your spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sit low, Utkatasana. Draw those knees together, push down and out through your heels. Scoop your tailbone forward. Sink low on your hips, lift more through your fingers. Take a breath in. Exhale, open, twist left, let those arms drop. And then left arm reaches back, right arm reaches forward. Make sure knees and hips are still facing forward. Everything in the lower body is square to the front and you're twisting above the hips, belly button, chest, eyes. Stay for a breath in. Stay for a breath out. Inhale, Utkatasana, come back to center. Exhale, half chair, bend your knees, reach fingers to the floor. Shift your weight to your left foot. Inhale, one-legged mountain, right knee lifts, arms reach high. Exhale, standing figure four. Right ankle crosses over left thigh. Hips sink back and down as your heart pulls forward. Breathe for three, two, one. Inhale, one-legged mountain, right knee lifts, arms overhead. Exhale, high lunge, big step back with grace. Belly and front ribs draw in, tailbone lengthens down. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, open, twist left, bring both arms down, and then reach that right arm forward, left arm back as you rotate your torso. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Get taller through your spine as you breathe in. Twist deeper as you exhale. Inhale, front lunge, left arm reaches forward. Exhale, warrior two, open wide. Left palm to the ceiling. Inhale, big stretch back, reverse. Exhale, modified extended side angle, left arm to left thigh. Reach that right arm all the way overhead. Press your bottom knee open with that bottom arm. Seal the outer edge of your back foot down. Lift underneath the inner thigh of your back leg. Bend your front knee a little deeper. Twist your torso a little more. Big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale, reverse triangle, leg straight, stretch straight. Reach up and back. Exhale, low lunge. Cartwheel hands to the floor. Push into your hands. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg up and back. Exhale, scorpion dog, open your hip and bend your knee. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, left knee, right elbow across your body. Inhale, back into that scorpion dog. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Right foot to the outside of your right hand. Prayer squat. Shoulders back, tailbone scoops forward. Bring your right fingers down, left arm reaches high. Big breath in across your chest. Big breath out. Hands to heart center. Left fingers down, right arm reaches high. Big inhale. Big exhale. Hands to your heart, stay for a breath in. Exhale, forward fold, tip those hips up, head down. 
Take some gentle sways side to side. Use those sways to walk your feet together. Forward fold, top of mat, inhale, half lift, reset your spine. Exhale, fold, moving through that sequence one more time, right and left. Inhale, Utkatasana, a little smoother. Exhale, open, twist right. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, half chair. Inhale, one leg and mountain, left knee lifts, arms reach up. Exhale, standing figure four, stay for three, two, one. Inhale, one leg and mountain. Exhale, high lunge. Big breath in. Exhale, open, twist right, right arm back, left arm forward. Inhale, twist on the exhale. Inhale, front lunge, right arm forward. Exhale, warrior two, slice that left arm open. Right palm to the ceiling, inhale, reach back, reverse. This time, exhale, either forearm to thigh or right hand to the inside of your right foot. Left arm reaches overhead. Stay for a breath in. Stay for a breath out. Inhale, reverse triangle, leg stretch straight, reach up and back. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg up and back. Exhale, scorpion dog, open your hip, bend your knee. Inhale. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, scorpion dog. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Left foot to the outside of your left hand, prayer squats. Left fingers to the floor, inhale, right arm high. Take a big breath in. Exhale, hands to your heart. Right fingers to the floor, left arm high, big inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Stay for a breath in here. Exhale, forward fold. Find those gentle sways right and left and walk your feet together. Inhale, half lift, reset your spine. Exhale, let it go. Last time, left side, inhale, sit low. Utkatasana. Exhale, open, twist, left. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, half chair. Inhale, one leg and mountain, right knee lifts, reach up. Exhale, standing figure four for three, two, one. Inhale, one leg and mountain. Exhale, high lunge. Take a breath in here. Exhale, open, twist left. Inhale, twist deeper as you exhale. Inhale, front lunge, left arm forward. Exhale, warrior two, slice that right arm wide. Left palm to the ceiling, inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended side angle, either forearm to thigh or fingers to the floor. Reach that right arm overhead. Stay for a breath in. Stay for a breath out. Inhale, reverse triangle. Left leg stretches, reach back. Exhale, low lunge. Press into your hands. Inhale, three-legged dog. Left leg up and back. Exhale, scorpion dog. Big breath in. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, scorpion dog. Exhale, left knee, left elbow and step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Right foot to the outside of your right hand, prayer squat. Hands to heart center, press those knees wide. Right fingers to the floor, left arm up, big inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Left fingers to the floor, right arm up, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, forward fold, tip head down, hips high. Take those easy sways side to side. Walk your feet together. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, fold. Let's take that two more times with a cleansing breath. Inhale, half lift through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. 
One more like that. Inhale through the nose for that half lift. Open mouth, exhale. Setting up for crow pose. Kakasana hands come to the floor. As you start to bend your elbows, see if you can bring your knees up as high up on your arms as possible. Shift forward, gaze forward. Maybe you float one foot. Maybe you float both feet. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale, push into your hands, pull the belly in. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath in. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg to the sky. Exhale, scorpion dog. Option to stay here or flip your dog. Pivot all ten toes to face back. Reach your right arm to the front of your space. Push into that bottom hand to lift your heart and hips. Big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg up and back. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands, low lunge. On your fingertips, take a breath in, reach your heart forward. Exhale, pull your hips back, stretch your legs, and fold. Let's take that two more times. Inhale into that lunge. Exhale, hips back, and fold. One more. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, hips back, and fold. Rebend into that lunge. Shifting all the way onto that right leg for standing splits. Lift that back leg, drop your forehead towards your front shin. Option to catch that bottom ankle with one or both hands. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Take one more breath in, listen closely. Exhale, hands to the floor, Shiva squat. Bend both knees, tuck that left leg behind your right. Inhale, Ardha Chandrasana. As you re-extend that left leg, lift your left arm to the sky. Flatten out your hips and your chest to the left side of your space. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, Shiva squat. Come back to center, fingers find the floor. Curl into that tight little ball. Other way, inhale, Parvrita Ardha Chandrasana. As you extend that left leg, right arm reaches to the sky. Push into that bottom foot, pull your belly in, and rotate to the right. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, Shiva squats. One more time each way. Inhale, Ardha Chandrasana. This time, option for Chapasana. If you'd like to bend that back knee and catch your foot, kick foot to hand and breathe for three. Two, one, everyone back into that Shiva squat. Last time, inhale, Parvrita Ardha Chandrasana, right arm lifts, option to stay, or maybe you bind with that back foot again, bend that back knee, catch your foot with your right hand and poke that left knee to the sky. Breathe for three, two, one, forward fold. Shake out your head, shake out your shoulders. Heel toe your feet, hip width apart. Soft knees, catch onto those big toes and yogic toe up, Padangustasana. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Push down and out through your heels, lift your sit bones. Big breath in. Big breath out. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, release your toes, heel toe your feet to touch, inhale, half lift, exhale, Kakasana crow pose, set yourself up, lift those knees up high, shift forward, push the floor away with your hands, zip your belly in, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, one more breath in, 
Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Up Dog. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Inhale, your left leg to the sky. Exhale, Scorpion Dog. Option to stay or flip your dog. Spin all 10 toes to face back. Reach your left arm to the front of your space. Push down into that bottom hand. Lift your heart and hips. Stay for a breath in. Stay for a breath out. Inhale, three-legged dog. Left leg up and back. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Low lunge. On your fingertips, inhale, heart pulls forward. Exhale, hips pull back. Stretch your legs. Fold over that front thigh. Two more front evens. Inhale, heart reaches forward. Exhale, pull back and fold. Inhale, bend. Exhale, stretch. Slowly rebend that front knee. Standing splits. This time, glide onto that left leg. Float your right leg to the sky, drop forehead to shin, maybe catch that bottom ankle with one or both hands. Three breaths, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more breath in, exhale, Shiva squat, hands to the floor, bend your knees, tuck that right leg behind your left, curl into that ball. Inhale, Ardha Chandrasana, right arm to the sky as that right leg extends. Try and flatten your hips and chest to the right side of the room. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, Shiva squat. Moving in the other direction, inhale, Parvrita Ardha Chandrasana. As that right leg stretches, left arm reaches to the sky. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, Shiva squat. Nice. You get one more shot each side. Inhale, Ardha Chandrasana. Right leg up, right arm up. Option for Chapasana as you breathe for three, two, one. Shiva squat. Inhale, Parvrita Ardha Chandrasana. Left arm to the sky. Option to stay or take that bind here. Top hand grabs top foot. Breathe for three. Kick that right knee to the sky. Two. One. Forward fold. Heel toe your feet hip width apart. Soft knees. Perhaps pata has to sniff this, this round. Slide your hands under your feet. If that's too much, you can grab onto those big toes again. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. One more breath in. And out. Release your hands. Heel toe your feet back together. Inhale, half lift, long spine, yogi's choice. Exhale through a vinyasa or step to down dog. We'll all meet up in down dog. Take a big breath in here. As you exhale, lower your knees to the floor. Press back child's pose. Big toes touch, knees wide. Relax the elbows, the head. Create some width across your lower back. As you push into your hands and send your sit bones a little closer to your heels. Connect with your breath. And start to walk your hands towards your knees. Setting up for Ustrasana Camel Pose, come to stand on your knees, tuck your toes behind you, roll your shoulders back, bring your hands to the top of your buttocks flesh. Draw your elbows in towards each other, push your hips forward, lift your heart and gaze to the ceiling. Start to trace your gaze along the ceiling towards the wall behind you, maybe this is you. 
Maybe your hands find your heels if you feel comfortable there. You can always untuck your toes. Continue to send those hips forward and lift your heart. Five breaths, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, four, one more breath in. As you exhale, bring your hands to your lower back, slowly come up, untuck your toes, sit on your heels. Yogi's choice, palms down to ground, palms up to receive, close the eyes. Just observe, notice, listen. gently open. Make your way into downward dog. Slide your hands forward, lift those hips. Inhale your right leg to the sky, gaze forward. Exhale, pigeon on the right. Slide your right chin forward, walk your left knee and left toes back. Sit up tall as you breathe in. If it feels good to stay upright, go for it. If you'd like to fold forward, you can exhale and fold. Great place to close the eyes. Softening in, using those exhales to find more and more relief. Start to walk your hands back in. And as you swing your left leg all the way around to the front, bring your right knee towards the center of your mat and set up for half seated spinal twist. So that left foot flattens on the outside of your right leg. Left fingers behind you, inhale, right arm to the sky. Exhale, twist to the left. Sit up taller with every breath in. Twist a little deeper with those exhales. Take one more breath in. Twist a little deeper as you exhale. And come back to center, Gomukhasana. Take that left knee, stack it on top of your right. Align your feet in one line horizontally. You might need to scoot one foot forward, one foot back. Ground through your sit bones, sit up tall, take a breath in. This might be it. If you feel comfortable on that exhale, folding forward, gently start to fold forward. Breathe into your outer hip. Breathe into your shoulders. Breathe into your face.
start to make your way up to sit. We're just gonna take a big rewind here. Left leg swings around, hand comes, hands come to the top of your mat. Tuck your left toes, step back, down dog, and pedal out the legs. Shake out the head, you might even flutter the lips. Take a sigh. As you're ready, inhale, left leg high, look forward. Exhale, pigeon on the left. Left shin forward, walk your right knee and right toes back. Start vertical and upright, long spine as you breathe in, maybe stay. On an exhale, maybe you fold forward. Lots of breath here, especially if your mind starts to wander. Sometimes in places of discomfort, our mind goes elsewhere to distract us. See where your mind goes, and if it wanders off, bring it back to the breath. Start to walk your hands back in. As you swing that right leg around, bring your left knee to the center of your mat, setting up for half seated spinal twist. Right foot flattens on the outside of left leg, right fingers come behind you. Inhale, reach your left arm up. Exhale, twist to the right. Get taller with every inhale. Twist deeper with the exhale. One more breath in, twist a little deeper as you exhale. And come back to center, go Mukasana, stack right knee on top of left. Align your feet horizontally, ground through your sit bones. Sit up tall, take a breath in, maybe stay. Maybe use that exhale to soften forward. Back to that breath again. Breathe into your outer hips. Breathe into your shoulders, the face. To make your way up to sit. This time stay seated, just uncross your legs. Baddha Konasana, soles of your feet together, knees open wide, sit up tall, take a breath in, and on an exhale, fold forward. Roll your shoulders back and down. Give your head a little sway, side to side. Make your way up to sit. Open your legs out wide into a straddle. Sit up tall, take a breath in. And on an exhale, hands can walk forward or you could grab onto your big toes and you'll get toe lock. Keep your sit bones reaching back as your heart reaches forward.
start to make your way up to sets. You can use your hands to help out those legs, close and extend out in front of you. Flex your feet, sit up tall, take a breath in, exhale and fold. You might walk your tush back a little as your heart reaches forward and then re-soften over your legs. If it feels good here to roll out the shoulders and shake out the head, go for it. Make your way up to sit and we'll work our way into plow pose, maybe into shoulder stand if that's too much. You can always come onto your back and take legs up the wall. Just extend the legs towards the ceiling and relax. Otherwise, bring your toes to the floor behind you, starting in plow pose. Interlace your fingers, tuck your shoulder blades underneath you, get as high up on your shoulders as you can. Push your arms down towards the floor. Press the backs of your knees up towards the ceiling. If you feel comfortable here, you might release your hands to your back. Walk your elbows in closer together. Push down into your upper arms and continue to send the backs of the knees up to the sky. If you feel good here and wanna stay here, go for it. If you'd like to make your way into shoulder stand, extend the legs up towards the sky. If you're in shoulder stand, flex your feet, lower back in the plow, take a breath. If you're in plow pose, bring your arms to the floor, start to unroll, and we'll catch our friends who are in legs up the wall, and everyone stretch those legs long out and down slowly all the way to the floor out in front of you. Matsyasana fish pose. Press down into your elbows, lift your chest to the ceiling, and come on to the back of your head. Gazing to the back of your space. Continue to press your elbows and puff your chest to the sky. To come out, press into your elbows even more. Lift your head, tuck your chin, slowly roll. Try your knees towards your chest and then work your way into full happy baby. Catch both feet this time. Pull both feet towards the floor. Press your lower back towards the floor. Yogi's choice, you can stay still or you can move around. Release and hug both knees into your chest. Press the back of your head into your mat. Keep that little bit of pressure and turn your head side to side. Give your skull a massage against the floor. Release any last bit of tension in the neck and the shoulders. The next time you look right, keep looking right. Let both knees fall to the left. Easy twist.
come back through center. Take your knees over to the right, look left. center. Hug your knees into your chest. Wrap your arms around the front of your shins. Bring your head towards your knees. Squeeze in tightly for five, four, three, two, one. Release and set up for final rest. Shavasana. Arrange your body so it's comfortable. Close your eyes. Let's take one last control breath in through the nose, filling up. And a big sigh. Start to deepen your breath. Wiggle your fingers and wrists, toes and ankles. Turn your head side to side. Reach your arms overhead, stretch from toes to fingers. And as you're ready, draw your knees to your chest, roll to your right. Have a moment there. Make your way up to a comfortable seated position. Once you find an easy seat, a tall spine, close your eyes, bring your hands to your heart. have to see a thing a thousand times before I see it once. Thomas Wolfe. The divine right in me bows to the divine right in you. Namaste.